Steganography means hiding a secret message within another message. The combined message appears to be ordinary, so a casual observer wouldn't even know that something has been concealed. Cryptography allows us to send secret messages, but encrypted messages can attract unwanted attention. Try padding each letter of your secret with four additional letters to make up another message. This isn't a particularly lucid sentence, but maybe it makes sense in your culture. The government may not notice anything suspicious, but your friends will extract every fifth letter and know just where to meet. In digital communication, there are many opportunities for steganography. For example, extra spaces at the end of a line or at the end of a message are usually not noticeable. Could these blank spaces communicate something secret? Text is typically represented as a sequence of 8-bit characters. That means every letter or symbol you type is converted to 8 binary digits, zeros or ones, and further encoded as electrical impulses or radio waves. Even spaces are encoded, and the ASCII character set has a few kinds of spaces. The binary number 32 represents the space bar, 9 is the tab key, and 10 is like hitting enter to start a new line. So what if we use these two different kinds of spaces to themselves represent the zeros and ones of a different hidden message? To conceal my initials into this poem, I'll first convert the letters to bits, and then type a space for a zero bit, or a tab for a one. So the letter C is space, tab, space, 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 tab, tab. And L is space, tab, space, space, tab, tab, space, space. There, now the recipient of my document can paste it into any tool that shows the character encodings and read off the characters. 32 is space for a zero bit, and 9 is tab for a one bit. Actually, you can probably do it right here in your word processor with view non-printing characters. Yep, space, tab, space, 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 tab, tab. Brought to you by the letter C. There's also a web gadget that will decode these for you. My favorite kind of steganography hides secret messages in pictures. Digital images are also represented as bits. In an uncompressed true color image, the color of each pixel is a 24-bit number, controlling the brightness of tiny red, green, and blue lamps within the screen. There are 256 shades of red, 256 shades of green, and 256 shades of blue, combining to make more than 16 million possible colors. Many of these colors are similar enough that we can't really distinguish between them, and that represents an opportunity. Here's a photo I took in Puerto Rico. Let's highlight four pixels in this image and examine the bits used to represent them. The lowest order bits in each channel, that is, each red, green, or blue component, contribute very little to the color we perceive. If I set them all to zero, or all to one, or to random bits like flipping a coin for each one, the image doesn't appear to change very much at all. Let's see it again. I'm making these changes across the entire image, by the way, not just the four pixels, but all 1.2 million of them. Let's go further. What if I tweak the two lowest order bits in each channel? I could set them all to 0, 0, or to 1, 1, or any random combination. You still can't really perceive the differences. When we start to mess with three or more bits, the quality of the image degrades more noticeably. So let's stick to two bits per channel, which is six bits per pixel. Instead of making them all zeros, all ones, or random, we'll use them to conceal a message. Within the 1.2 million pixels in this image, we could squeeze over 7 million bits. That's enough to store hundreds of pages of text. I wrote a simple program to do this. It takes an input image, your secret message file, I've downloaded an out of copyright sci-fi novel, and a file name for the output image. Here is the result, but on the surface it looks just like all the others. We can dive into the lower order bits by shifting the pixel representation of each channel. In binary, a left shift means to drop the leftmost bit, move the remaining bits one position to the left, 
and fill in the missing right bit with a zero. When we apply left shift to an image, it exposes some interesting patterns. Some subtle contours remain, even after shifting to the last two bits. Left shifting the image that conceals the sci-fi novel reveals that something funny is going on in those low order bits. There's a discontinuity between the encoded text and what remains of the original image. Maybe we can smooth out the discontinuity by substituting random bits once we run out of secret data. The discontinuity is still visible because the secret bits are darker than the noise. This is because the 8-bit characters used in English always start with a zero, which makes them appear as darker colors on average. We can improve it still further by compressing the secret text, and then using random bits when we run out of compressed text. Now the compressed and random regions appear pretty uniform. The only thing that looks suspicious now is that the substantial contours visible after five shifts disappear entirely with the sixth. For my final trick, I want to embed a secret image inside another image. We've learned that colors are represented as 24-bit numbers, or 8 bits per red-green-blue channel. And two of those bits can be tweaked without noticeable loss. So, we can simultaneously store two distinct images if they are the same dimensions. The outer one is 6 bits per channel, supporting more than 262,000 colors. The hidden one is 2 bits per channel, or just 64 colors. That obviously degrades the quality of the inner image, but it's still recognizable. Once we merge the images together, it really looks just like the original outer image. But if we again apply the left shift, to make the lower bits visible, the inner image slowly emerges. Here are a few questions for further discovery and discussion. Some messaging programs and networking apps will automatically resize image attachments. What happens to the embedded data when the image is resized? What if the embedded data is also an image? Does the image within image technique work equally well for cartoon images as it does for photographs? Earlier I mentioned that I'm working with uncompressed true color images. What compression techniques are commonly applied to images, and what effects might they have on embedded data? What about image formats like GIF that use a limited color map? Are there other ways to surreptitiously insert secret data into an image file besides tweaking the pixel representations?